You know, no matter how much I try and prepare myself, I'm never truly prepared whenever I try and do one of these things. Yesterday, the first official teaser trailer for the 2017 series of Star Trek was released. Apparently at Comic-Con. It's called Star Trek Discovery. And, uh, well, it kind of makes you hope well, that they're sort of going back to the roots of Star Trek. Exploration. I mean, what better what a better name to use than Discovery? That is the name of the ship this series is going to be set aboard by the sounds of things. USS Discovery. Now, this is a teaser trailer, and it does say test footage. But the CGI is questionable. I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt here. And I'm saying that because this is test footage, it is no this is nowhere near TV quality. Why well, I say TV quality, it isn't going to be on TV because <laughs> the internet is the future. So I'm giving these people the benefit of the doubt. So, yeah, I've got at least one or two good things there. But I'm finding more negatives out of this short clip. We start here on some asteroid. An asteroid. And we find ourselves here. Do you know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of the Tholian moon base from Inner Mirror Darkly. Let me just see if I can find that. You know, kind of like that is not the best picture. Yes, the Tholian asteroid dock. That's what it kind of looks like to me. That's the wrong one. But yeah, um. So here we have this presumably Starfleet asteroid dock. No idea where it is as we. As it says, test footage. So it could just be some dock that doesn't really exist. And there's where I first started getting doubts. Do you see the shape of that ship? I'm going to show you a galaxy class starship now. Okay, so, classic Star Trek ship. Same with the Sovereign, pretty much with the Nebula as well. But if our information is correct, then this is going to be happening before the next generation and after the undiscovered country. So, Excelsior class starship. Looks nothing like an Excelsior, does it? <laughs> yeah, um... What is that? Well, we're, we're about to get plenty more views. Now look at this, multiple Brassard collectors. Once again, test footage, possibly subject to change. But does multiple Brassard collectors equal more advanced? As in like a potential prototype warp drive? Or more primitive? Maybe it needs multiple warp cores 
in order to get this thing going. Uh. Uh. Oh dear. Oh god. Do you see what this ship is? Do you see this? Most people will probably be thinking that this is a totally original design. That it's. Wow, they're. They're being ambitious. It looks like no Star Trek ship I've ever seen before. What about that? Ralph Macquarie's concept art for Starship Enterprise. And not just any Starship Enterprise. The one that pe people say is for Phase 2. No, it wasn't. This isn't the Phase 2 Enterprise. This is the one that was made for um, Planet of the Titans. Ralph McQuarrie, not very well known for his Star Trek work. His Star Wars work, though. He helped design the Star Destroyer. Thus why this thing is quite sardonically known as USS Star Destroyer, because it doesn't fit in. This, this just reeks of Star Wars. It feels like a Star Wars ship. It doesn't fit here. And what CBS has done is they've gone and based the US's discovery off this. <sighs> yeah, no, okay, yeah, I've seen some pretty weird designs. I mean, there's been some a few odd non-canon designs like the Proxima class starship from Star Trek Legacy. Two secondary hulls, four warp nacelles, very strange design. I'd almost say the uh, the Chica USS Chicago almost. Albany class missile cruiser. V an odd looking ship. There have been some odd looking Star Trek ships, no doubt about it. The closest thing that this really resembles, that really resembles this anyway, in canon Star Trek is the Norway class. Sort of. Okay, maybe not. It, it kind of get, gives me the same feeling, but yeah, probably not. But yeah, that is a strange design. We've had the U even the USS Defiant, Cisco's one. That doesn't look much like a proper starship. Look, nothing like the old Enterprise. Nothing like Voyager. This, I suppose, with a you could imagine it with a stretch. At a stretch. So yeah, we've got this fugly ship, and things just stop making sense here. Why do I say stop say making sense? Because look at that registry number. NCC1031. That is the third lowest registry number that I know of. There could be a few lower. But currently... Nope, that's not the one I wanted. Constellation Star Trek. 
Look at this one. USS Constellation 1017. That was a sort of a kit bash. Because they decided to just take the, the decals of 1701 and just switch them around a little bit. But they could have easily just made it 1710. Uh, yeah, um... Constellation. Low number. USS Grissom. An Oberth class starship. NCC 638. Nothing said about it uh, when it was built, uh, commissioned. But we do know that the original Enterprise 1701 was commissioned in 2245. So that gives a, a year or so. A few years between the commissioning of Constellation and Enterprise. So if Star Trek Discovery is truly going to be occurring in the in between Star Trek the undiscovered country and the next generation this means that this ship is quite possibly very old as in so old that it doesn't have any business being in Starfleet anymore obsolete now, of course, we have seen cases where the USS Excelsior is in service 200 years after it was constructed. Not 200, 100. <laughs> but that's in Star Trek Online, and that's frankly non-canon. But, yeah, Excelsior glasses, they can last a while, but... Th <sighs> this thing... You know... I hope it's just some sort of prototype and that's it. I don't want to find out that there's a whole class of these things. And that for some reason, Starfleet is still using them. Even though their registries are numbering one zero so on so on. Which, as far as I'm concerned, makes them old as fuck. Yeah, that 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 annoys me personally. You know, I just I just don't understand why they they could have gone law friendly and um, I don't know, just made a scratch built design that or maybe even done the safe gone with the safe option and gone with an existing design like the Miranda or the Excelsior maybe even an ambassador class but no 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 they went with this thing they went with the fucking USS Star Destroyer the thing that is so ugly that it's been consigned to the relics of history. But no, no, it's not. It's not a relic anymore. It's not consigned to the annals of history anymore. It's got a fucking show of its own. I would have preferred if they'd made their own design rather than base it off that. I've already seen one person asking, how are they going to destroy this one? I hope it gets destroyed. What the 
bloody Leafs decommissioned because, good God, that ship is so unappealing. And now it's going to get its own show. Just fascinating. Just yeah, you know. Let's hope that they do something decent, even though they have, if I remember correctly, they have one of the writers from the failed re reboot of Hawaii Five-O. Oh, God. I don't have a lot of hope for this show. <laughs>